hello welcome to my tutorial for today how are you doing yes you in particular i hope you are doing okay and how is the weather treating you all welcome to my tutorial once again today we are going to be making this very long dress with a chest line cut okay i have here three yards of this very beautiful chiffon fabric but it's not very light you can see it has patterns on it you can see the designs okay this is three yards and this is half yard i'll be using this for the upper part and sincerely that they don't match but i'll use it because i know it will come out very beautiful then i have this lining this is two and a half yards okay so quickly we will get started so we'll be cutting the upper part first and the measurements are divided into two first i will measure from my shoulder to my chest line to this point okay and then the second measurement from here to the desired length i hope you get that okay so i'll be folding the fabric because i'll be cutting both the front and the back at the same time and as you can see from that picture there is no zipper so we'll not be putting any zip okay it's already unfold so i'll fold again that's for the front and the back And then I'll be cutting this chest using my bust measurement. Bust 45 divided into 4 will give us 11.5. Sorry, 11.25. That is 11 and quarter. Don't mind me, please. Okay, so from my shoulder to my chest is nine inches. I'll use ten inches. So I'll use half inch for joining at the lower part, half inch for joining at the shoulder. So I'll measure ten inches and this here is my 10 inches okay next will be to measure the bust 11 and quarter okay i have 13 inches which is very very okay Next will be to place my shoulder measurement. And then my armhole, eight and a half. I think I'll need to get a screw chop because it's always better for me. And then like I said, for this chest line, I'm going to use my bust measurement, which is 11.25. And what for this material?
but then I have 13, so I'll use all of them. The remaining is the sewing allowance. My neck width is four and a half inches. Neck volume. Ah, wow. Four inches at the front, one and a half at the back. So I'll carefully join them. The fabric is just very, very funny. It keeps entering into my nails. So this is for the back. This is for the front. I'll separate it and remove the front okay so the front and this is the back I'm still going to split the front open at the center I'll open about four inches For the sleeve we're not going to be using a long sleeve as seen in that picture because the fabric is not will not be enough so we we'll use a short sleeve So this is the sleeve okay it's just the basic sleeve and then the lower part is wide so I'll cut lining for this particular one so these are the lining you see this upper part is stretchy so I didn't want to use a stiff line. I got something that is also stretchy. Okay. So this is how I'm going to be lining it first. I will just sew here, just this point here and here. Turn it every other place. I will now close. I hope you get that. If possible, to avoid confusion, I'll just do it this way, like this. You get that? So I'll sew on top. The way it is, I'll just sew on top of it. Okay. But then for the front, On the front, I'm going to sew this way. I will sew this place first of all. Here. Okay. So for this front, I'm going to sew this way. That is, I'll place my lining at the right side like this, this way, and then I'll sew here, only here, notch it, turn it, and then sew every other part. I hope it's clear. 
so i've done the joining i also sorry the lining and then i joined them at the shoulder okay next will be to put the ring at this neckline okay i will now take the measurement of the circumference of the neckline and then with this material i will cut it so the circumference is 25 and a half that is 26 I fold this way and fold okay okay this is more than okay it's still more than but I will use it and then remove the excess. Six. I'm just randomly marking six. Here. I'm not using any reduce here but of course you know you know this lower part is the part that will be attached here okay now if you check it is more than this is 24 this is 28 32 36 almost 40 inches okay so the important one is this other circle okay this other one now, if you make this lower part wide enough, you won't have any problem with the inner one. Okay. Next will be to decide how many inches thick you want. I'll mark two so that by the time I take half here, half here, I'll be left with one or something close to one. Okay. So I'm cutting this off and also this. So I'm going to open one end. And then of course I'll cut lining for this. So here is the lining. This is the lining, okay? Now I remember the circumference was 25 and a half. So I'll have to take the measurements. Twenty, twenty-four. This is twenty-six. Okay. And then at this upper part, I will take about half an inch, or you can just carefully give it a slight curve. So you now have something like this. So I'll go to the machine now and line it. Okay, so this is how I lined it. I started this way. Of course, you know, this lower part is where I will attach at the neckline here. So where I needed to line was the upper part. So I started from this place, walked around, ended here. And then I notched it. So I will turn it now, carefully press it I'll turn it press it very very well and then close it up I'll then sew here round okay so this is what we have next will be to attach it at the neckline please let me quickly add something you see in that picture 
there's a small button at this neckline but i want to use hook i don't want the button that's why i didn't put it if you want to use that button and the button hook that looks this way all you will do will be to before you line you add the button the rope for the button okay like you cut a small fabric sew it this way like this and then you attach it this way you understand that you attach it this way so that you place your lining on top of it and line okay you know as it is if the lining were to be on top now when i push the lining inside this one will now come this way i hope you get that but this hook i want to use that's why i didn't put it thank god i remembered it now okay so i will attach this the neckline okay this way making sure this place laps well here i will sew round the next thing to be done will be to close at the two sides using my bust measurement okay so i will close it here and here at the two sides but if your armhole extended more than your chest line you will need to attach your fabric first okay if your armhole extended more than here you will need to attach your fabric first even as it is now if you feel that when you close it here and here that you cannot attach your fabric feel free to attach the fabric okay before closing but the reason i want to close before attaching is because i don't want to separate this fabric i want to use it the way it is okay I hope you get that but if you are attaching before closing it means you have to divide this fabric into two two equal parts so that one is for the front one is for the back okay so now having joined them at the two sides with my bust measurement of course next will be to attach this one okay now i'm not going to be attaching this way this is not how i want to put it i'll be attaching it on top this way okay and because of that i already folded the upper part you can use an interlocking machine if you don't want it folded okay so i'm going to start attaching this way okay fix it by half an inch i'm fixing by half an inch remember i have i have half an inch at this lower part okay for the attachment okay so even the pleat is half an inch so this way and then you sew so you have to continue until you have gotten to the other side Okay, so I'm done with the attachment. Okay, next will be to put the lining. Okay, and I'll be fixing it on this colored material. I'll fix it here so that when it falls, it will then cover everything. I hope you get that. I'll be fixing it here. All right. So this is how it is after attaching the lining. I've also closed the side. So the next will be to now attach the sleeve. This is the sleeve and this is a band I'll be putting here. This is about two and a half inches, okay? So then with the circumference of my arm, okay, I'm going to pleat this here, okay? Just to make it puff just a little. You can see we don't have much of the fabric. 
but if you have much you can make it as long as the hand in that picture okay so i'm going to now attach the band to the sleeve and then attach it to the armhole so now i've attached the sleeve i'll go ahead and attach the hook and then miss headless will try it on for us okay people so you see the end result of our tutorial like i said if you want to use that button and hook you are free but this one too is fine but that button will give you that perfect neckline that will stand this way okay thank you for watching till the end i really appreciate your time on my channel please keep your requests popping in and then again if i don't get to attend to it it could be because i did not see a perfect fabric for the tutorial thank you once again for watching and if you are new please subscribe before leaving and tap on the notification bell to get yourself notified whenever we upload okay until i get to see you in my next tutorial take care of yourself i love you from the bottom of my heart and don't forget to pray for me and people around you bye